look I'm going to be using this Tartiste Pro palette and I'm going to be using about three colors out of this palette I believe and I'm going to cover the mirror up so I'm not blinding you the first shade that I'm going to be using is vintage and that is just going all over the uh, lid and crease oops wrong eye just all over the upper eye area. The next shade that I'm going to use is Innocent. And that's going on the crease and the upper eye area. And I'm just going to do that until I get the color, the depth that I want. I forgot to mention that I'm using my Morphe 505 blending brush and I'm using this brush for the entire look and the reason that I can do that is because I'm going from the lightest shade all the way down to the darkest shade I don't have to change my brush and this is going to be perfect for everything that I'm doing um, with this eye look The next color that I'm going to be using is Edgy, and that is a deep, deep dark brown. The way that I'm putting it on my eyes, I'm not going to take it to that layer of depth. And I'm keeping this on my lid and just into the crease. That's all I'm going to do with this. I'm going to line my eye with this Kat Von D eyeliner and I'm just going to make just a little wing with this. I kind of want to conceal the bands on this, on these lashes. I'm going to go ahead and finish the lower lash line first. And so I'm going to combine Innocent and Edgy. So the first um, tannish uh, orangey brown shade that I use and then the dark brown. That's what I'm going to combine together to go into the lower lash line. Now I'm going to use this LMA Multi-Benefit Mascara just on my lower lash. Alright, so I just want to give my lower lashes definition, that's all I want. And then I'm going to use a highlighter in this palette and so the highlighter that I'm going to be using is Ethereal it's kind of a goldish shade and I'm just taking that into my inner corner for those of you who've been with me you know the drill I like to take it up into my crease a little bit and onto my lid just the inner portion of my lid for me personally on my eyes it adds a very nice dramatic effect then i go into my lower 
lash line just a little bit and expand that into there into it as well but I feel like when I do it this way it really just sets the whole look off it adds a very nice effect I didn't even see this happen with this mascara. <sighs> Sometimes it never fails. Okay, so I think that's enough for that. Now, what I did not show you is that before starting this entire look, I primed my eyes with this Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. For foundation, I used the Maybelline Fit Me in the Dewy Finish, Dewy and Smooth, and my number is 310. For concealer, I used the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. So this is a repurchase on this Wet n Wild contour. And I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my face with this, as well as I use this as a bronzer. And this is normally how I do my makeup. It is usually contouring and bronzing and then whatever eye look and then whatever lippy. I'm going to use this and then I'm going to go into my highlighter. But um, I think the name of this is Call Me Maple. But it's a nice brown. This is a brown brown and so I really love it. So I just take that into my cheekbones my forehead and my nose and that's pretty much all I do. And I just blend and blend and blend. And if I need more, I add more. If you're new to my channel, um, I've really been loving the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder and this is in Golden Flower Crown. Let me go ahead and give you a swatch. has a very nice glow and for those who don't know my favorite um, Wet n Wild highlighter is Precious Petals and it just gives you a more more neutral glow Do the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and then the sides of my nostrils. Keep it bow. Now well, look, this blends out. It's not difficult to, if you feel like you put too much, you can take a finger that doesn't have anything on it and just kind of smooth it out and it doesn't have as strong of an effect. So I love that about this highlighter. And it's so affordable, but it makes you look like you've spent a lot. Okay, so I'm going to leave that alone as far as the highlight. I think that works. And as I say that, I'm going to feel like I need to blend that upward. Okay, I really believe that's the Chloe and that. Uh... 
Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use this lipstick. So this is, who is this by? All right, this is the Vivid Hot Colors uh, lip gloss. I believe it's a lip gloss. I don't remember whether it's matte or not. We'll find out in a little bit. But yeah, it's, it's a lip gloss. Vivid Hot Liqueur. So we're gonna add that on. I, I wanted to say it was Maybelline, but I don't know. But I thought this red was beautiful with this new look. So rich. Oh my goodness, look at it. That is so pretty. Okay. So if you noticed what's missing from this look, if you know me really well, write in the comment section below what's missing from this look. What do you think? This is the final look. I hope you like it. And I am so thankful for you all just taking a moment of your time to watch this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new and you enjoyed yourself, subscribe. And if you do, please click that bell because that is your reminder for all of my future uploads. Again, thank you all so much. Take care, have a blessed day, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all on the next video. God willing, bye-bye.